Hi guys, um, down with me for another dinner? I hope so. Um, I have my own little twist on a shrimp scampi. And I call it shrimp scampi because I am using a scampi sauce, but I'm also going to be adding other ingredients you wouldn't normally add to the dish. But it's so, so delicious. So, I wanna let you know, I have two bags of the already pre-cooked shrimp, large. Butter, my trusty red onion. You know I have this in almost everything that I cook. I have one whole garlic bowl, but broken down. And I will be chopping that very fine. Basil, I'm out of the one that grows in my garden, so I had to buy it in the store, unfortunately. And we're gonna use some baby bell mushrooms. This is a super, 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 super uh, simple dish. Um, this is going to go over some linguine. Or actually, this time I have fettuccine. Pardon me. But it works on really any pasta. This is the one I happen to have. So, as I got water boiling over here with some oil, olive oil, and some salt, um, that's going to put for my fettuccine. Um, over in my pan, all I'm going to start with is... Butter, my chopped up garlic, and my red onion, and then also my mushrooms. And I'm going to go ahead and saute those for a bit, let some flavors get released, and then we'll add the other ingredients. Stand by. All right, we're ready to get into our pan here. So I'm going to put it on seven. I don't want it right in the middle so it's too low and I don't want it too high either. So I'm just using one of my little serving spoons here of butter. I'm gonna put in my garlic and my red onion. Right. I also already put a little bit of salt in there. In goes our little bit of leftover mushrooms. Yeah, as you see, the water is boiling over there, so I'm going to go ahead and add my pasta, add some extra salt there. Always important to put um, salt and oil in your pasta, or at least that's what I've always been taught. It's just the two of us eating. So for me, for just the two of us, I'm probably gonna put in just about a half a box of pasta. It really doesn't matter how much you put in there, um, except for if you're obviously doing a large crowd, you wanna make sure, or at least four or five people, you wanna basically use the whole box. Um, but just for the two of us, maybe a little over a half a box, I don't know. We don't eat pasta very often, so we don't relish in it, and we'd actually love the other ingredients even more so <laughs> than the pasta, so we don't need a lot of pasta ourselves. But it doesn't mean you can't. I'm gonna go grab my sauce from the pantry. Now, there are so many ways you can make this sauce yourself. I'm definitely cheating. And I bought this, it's from McCormick, and it's called the Scampi Seafood Sauce. All right, so it's already blended and mixed up for you. Now this is just a base sauce. As you know, I've already put in my own garlic here, my onion, my mushroom, and my butter. Okay, and then I'll be salting and seasoning to taste with my other items. But this is a great base to a sauce for your dish. And it may just be completely enough for you and your taste. But for us, again, we like a lot of flavor and we like to take it up a little notch and make a twist on everything that we cook. So this will be going in, but not until the shrimp is added and everything is blended nicely together. Some flavors are released. And then we start adding this bad boy in and the rest of our ingredients. All right, we're back. 
Look at that. Looks super yummy. It smells awesome. So now we're ready to add our shrimp. That looks so good. Now it looks like it's a lot, but if you've ever cooked shrimp at all, once you get it cooking and simmered down, it shrinks significantly, which is why I always put in two bags instead of one. Because I want the meats and the other ingredients, not just the starch or the pasta. So, this really doesn't need anything else right at this very moment. I'm just gonna let it cook down a little bit. I already got oil in there with the butter, so don't have to worry about it sticking or anything like that. Just wanted to cook down some. And in the meantime, we're gonna chop up our fresh basil that we have. Now we're gonna put this on toward the end. Not right now. I find that if you use fresh basil too early in the cooking process, it loses a lot of its flavor. So if you're going to use basil during the cooking process, I would recommend you use dry basil for that, as with other seasonings. But if you're going to use fresh basil, add that more toward the end so it retains its beautiful aroma and awesome flavor. And that gets released, by the way, the most when you've chopped it up just like this. I'm gonna go get some of our other seasonings that I'll be adding, along with our sauce. I'm grabbing some crushed red pepper. Yep, you know me with the spice. Rosemary. my all-purpose seasoning, which has oregano in it for me. Okay. I'm just gonna put a couple shakes of that in there. Not too much. That's the rosemary. Let's see if you can see that. Okay. My all-purpose. Let me take the top off of that. All right, these things Love this brand, by the way, and it comes with these little cute tops. So just shake some of that on there. That you can be a little bit more generous with. It's not as potent. And then our red pepper flakes. That's optional and, of course, to your desire. That's more than enough. You want to have a kick. Like, I love really spicy food, y'all but it doesn't have to be overwhelmingly spicy for it to taste really good. So it's really to your taste level, of course, and your tolerance level. But th that looks really good, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, well, we'll let that simmer for a few minutes before we start adding the rest of our ingredients and we'll be back. All right, we're right where we need to be. You see that? It simmered down really good. The shrimp is now starting to reduce in size. I did drain a little bit of the buttery liquid in here just because I don't want it too wet. This is really looking so, so good. All right, now we're gonna add our scampi sauce. You see that at the right at the end, there's this big, huge lump of a bunch of seasonings. It's already in the oil ahead. You see that? That looks so good. And that's going to help with any additional flavoring in the dish. Mmm, you can even smell some lemon there, which is really yummy. I do wish you could have smell-o-vision on phones because <laughs> it smells awesome. 
It does appear a little extra liquidy, but honestly, that's fine. You can drain some of that if you wish, or you could have drained all the butter in the beginning um, after it simmered down a bit and got the flavor going. Um, it's really up to you. Uh, but since this is going on pasta, sauce is good, and you want that sauce to be there. So it's going to be one of those things you play by ear, and you can adjust as you please. So I'm going to taste this and just to see if there's anything possible that I would want to add. Mm. Honestly, no. So over here, you want to make sure while you're doing your pasta, in case you're not familiar with it, which I'm sure everyone is, but in case you're not, I take this little pasta fork here. And I make sure there's plenty of oil in here when I start the boil, of course, and the salt as well, like I mentioned earlier. And then I just try to keep going in there and spooning it around and also using uh, the little spikes in here to try to keep the pasta from sticking. The oil helps in that, salt helps in that, the water does. But just going like this in your noodles and stirring around the pot helps a ton to keep your linguines or fettuccines or whatever it is you're using to keep from sticking and that's really any pasta and I've been doing that throughout the process while they've been boiling and my pasta is pretty much done we don't like it overly cooked just enough so best thing you do in your pasta we're gonna pull it off the heat and take it over here Follow me this way. We'll put it in the strainer. And then I shake off some of the excess water. And then I put this on cool. I have one of the faucets that has a sprayer. So I use that and I just go over it really lightly to try to stop the cooking process. That's it. No more than that. Shake it around, get some of that excess water back off again. And I'll have it stay there until I'm ready to serve. This is still going, but it too is almost complete. And you see how fast that was? It really takes no time to make this dish. Very little prep, very little work, and such a tasty and filling uh, dish to have. I love meat and all that stuff. And you know what? Honestly, everything you see me do here, minus the shrimp, can easily become a vegetarian dish. You can add broccoli. You can add cauliflower okay as a substitute for the meat so for my vegetarian friends which I love vegetarian dishes as well because I love vegetables and seasonings and sauces so this can easily become a vegetarian dish you can still use the scampi sauce the butter the seasoning you can use everything in here and just minus out the shrimp and use vegetable as a replacement or tofu if that's your your choice and it will be just as delicious. It all depends on you. So let's get ready to serve this because it is ready. I just turned that off. Here's my plate. Oh, you know what? While it's simmering there, let's go ahead and add in that basil. Because it needs very little heat, so it doesn't necessarily need to be on. The stove doesn't need to be on. Don't want to waste any of that. That stuff is the gold. There we go. Stir that in here real quick. everywhere. All right. So, 
here we go. Put our linguine in here. And voila there you go very very simple dinner it took less than 20 minutes for the most part very little prep time as I said you can use all your little cheat ingredients or you can use fresh ingredients whichever you prefer or a homemade sauce if you like um, it really doesn't matter it's up to you but this is the dish I have for you and I hope you enjoy it I hope you enjoy my cooking vlogs it's what I do most than anything. Um, I come home every day. I'm pretty much the same routine gal. I get up in the morning at a certain time. I pray with my husband. I have a cup of coffee. I head out to work. I come home while they're doing drop-off pickup at dojo, doing uh, martial arts or running errands. I come on up in the house. I get dinner ready as best as I can. I like to plan out my meals ahead. So if I'm shopping um, in the beginning of the week, I go, okay, what meal for this day? What meal for this day? And it really helps, and it helps save money, too. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this dish, and I hope you try it out at home. Please, please, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and even give me commentary. I don't mind. As long as it's appropriate and kind, I will listen. So hope you have a wonderful and blessed evening, and I hope you enjoy this dish if you make it for yourself. Thanks.